cleaning up here at Lake Harriet. One of two events we covered tonight, two sides of the 9-11 coin. In one instance, a group who says we should never forget what happened, and another group who says we should never forget to ask questions about what happened. It gets bigger every year. On a crisp night. This is terrific. It's, it's really good. Raw emotions, and for another year, a huge Harriet Banshell crowd, whether watching or participating in this memorial concert. I'm playing hooky from another rehearsal to be here tonight. Proof that 9-11, even on its sixth anniversary, is worth taking the evening out to honor and remember those lost. This is my birthday, so this is the way I prefer to spend it. In another part of Minneapolis, another huge crowd, another way to honor 9-11, this time by questioning it. Uh, I lost my husband, John Cassette. A packed house at Riverview Theater to see the film Press for Truth, which traces how 9-11 may have been prevented. No one has been fired. In fact, many people have been promoted after 9-11. How some 9-11 family members who pushed for the official investigation were only disappointed by it. Well, there's 70 percent of the questions that were put together by the family members were not even answered or or just minimally answered to actually think about what happened to actually explore what happened to actually want to know more about what happened is actually honoring it more than just being like you know oh, great memorial we're done you know but to those many who turned out for this memorial tonight, of course, it is uh, much, much more than just a one night and we're done. A lot of those people, by the way, that uh, showed up to watch that film tonight, many of them say that, uh, you know, there, there are a lot of people who get into conspiracy theories. There are many who say, though, that we should just keep asking questions and finding out really if there are people who still to this day should be held accountable for what happened six years ago. Live at Lake Harriet, Rob Wilson, Fox 9 News.
on September 11, 2001. She was 41 years old, a student of music and theater, and was working as a civilian employee for a year and a half at the Pentagon. She left behind a husband and two young boys. Ever since she was a child, her focus had always been to help people, from working as a young 4-H member and then as an actress and director in U.S. Army-based theaters in Germany, to running a youth care center on an Army base in Bamberg, Germany. She wanted to make a difference in people's lives. Just six weeks before September 11, 2001, she and her co-workers from the Army's personnel office were relocated to the section of the Pentagon that was struck that day. Hundreds of questions remain unanswered, yet this administration continues to use 9-11 to justify foreign wars. Our loved ones and the American people deserve to have the truth behind 9-11 told. And that is why I'm here today to introduce this film. The producers and directors did a great job of merging the experiences of six family members of 9-11 victims with researcher Paul Thompson's complete 9-11 timeline. The filmmakers stitched together overlooked news clips, varied stories, and government press conferences. The result is a truly thoughtful and reliable piece that provides a powerful argument for why 9-11 still needs investigation. I want to thank all of you for being here today. Of course, please be courteous as you watch and refrain from talking so that everyone can hear. I hope that you find this film informative and compelling. I'd like to leave you with a quote from Thomas Jefferson. When the people are well informed, they can be trusted with their own government. Thank you again. <laughs>